Welcome back. Satisfactory. Hey, we're out by our old uh, compacted coal power plant. Gonna some water in action. You know, I thought this thing was four by four, but it's obviously a little bigger than. Um, what? Let's uh, make sure we build this in such a way where we can Let's turn this around. Okay. I was thinking about look at the compacted coal versus coal sulfur and then if we look at the black powder recipe it's coal and sulfur so we can build our black powder in this area and since we're Basically, in the late game, we can leverage the uh, the drones on top of that. So that's why we've got... We're using five compacted coals as a proxy for what we really want, which is the um, new blueprint that we're about to make. It's not going to be a full blueprint build. Other group. Compacted coal. There we go. We just want to, we just want to go in here and make a couple updates. Like, we know we want to adjust these small belts to be faster. Go around and make sure all these transitory pieces are high speed. Now this is a single room. Each room contains three machine. And if we build five of these, that'll give us 15 machines total building compacted, or I'm sorry, black powder. Let's change the recipes on these. And I know for many of you, you're probably thinking, hey, why didn't you just delete your coal power plant? I don't like deleting coal power. I don't like deleting my power source at all, really. I always think that <laughs> if something goes terribly wrong, I want to have the ability to fall back on those already built power sources. Plus they add to the mix, though admittedly they don't add an awful lot relative to where we are. Okay, so let's do some upgrades of the belts here. Theoretically, don't have to upgrade the, but just to get everything on a single belt type, it might be. Worth. We could also upgrade our lift. pretty good. The main thing is that the main bus is upgraded. That's really what I'm looking for here. And there are a couple of little things like that that are left. What kind of consumption are we looking at? Yeah, 15 per minute and we're outputting 30 per minute. 
five of these would be 15 machines. 15 times 30, 450. This belt does way more than that, so spot. At yeah, I think we're at a good spot here. Tempted to put a bunch of lights in here. We're gonna good. We're only gonna do what we came to do. We'll save this as actually icon, black powder icon. Save this to assembler black head. Interesting the difference one letter can make. All right, let's see. In here, and we drop the compact. Add in five of the uh oh, short on concrete. Did whip out a bunch of concrete. Let's clear the designer. We'll grab the resources that we build this. All right. We're still short on concrete, so maybe we've got a little bit of build material over here. Our old construction bridge. Good. All right. So this is a very 1.0 blueprint I think somewhere under here one of those firefly spawns on but we're not going to worry about it so this is definitely a like lifts on the outside old school 1.1, 1.0 blueprint. Just upgrading it a little bit just to make sure that we still have plenty of... Every time it pauses, it lets me know that there's... Uh, not pausing very much all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. We do have a little bit of room. What we'll do is we'll just build a nice little offshoot right here. Structure is four. Five would allow it to be. Six would allow it to be centered with two on each side. Then let's go for our blueprint. Let's see if we can remember how we did this. Oh, we can just look over here and remember how we did it. Two imports, two inputs, one output. Outputs on the ground. Knowing that we probably should build one more. Outputs on the ground. Okay. Prints. We want the two input side to face us. Kind of looking for that corner. Oh! I think I'm off by half a click. 
maybe even less, like a quarter click. I don't think I'm going to be able to stand that. I think I'm going to have to delete this. This is the downside to blueprints. Well, this is the downside to any kind of automation. Is, uh... Everybody thinks about when they do things right, how great automation is, but... It also accelerates your mistakes. It shouldn't take us too long to delete all this, though. got to make sure we get everything. We don't want a floating thing to stop us from building. We can easily put our foundation back. Now, the only dangerous thing about this don't want to have a full inventory and then have floating crates all over the place. Make a couple spaces in our inventory. Just so when we go to delete things, we have guaranteed room. Slots in our Look at that floating conveyor bowl. Good news is, is all you have to do, just don't make any mistakes when you're building with blueprints. You won't have to be impacted by that. Or the other option, obviously, choose to be okay with your mistakes. The wise man said, there are no mistakes, only happy accident. Back to our blueprint. Let's pop that back up to five. All right. Our corner. Right there. Two inputs, good to go. Click. Ah, got it. I thought the output was going to be on this side, but the output's actually on this side. We'll add a little extra foundation for here. And I think it's pretty straightforward. Go into blueprint mode, rotate it correctly. And click, and click, and click. Now that I'm seeing it, this is a lot of resources associated with black powder production. And click. The original design for this was to bring everything down, right? This is the output layer. This is an input layer, but then cycles it around, merges it in, and then outputs it here. But we might actually have to bring it all the way down only to bring it all the way back up. But that's a problem we'll worry about here in a second. Let's get this loaded. We need some splitters. If you don't mind. Let's 
is this? Just one of each. But they're side by side. find power. That obviously is only going to connect the first level, but I do like connecting things. Testing them before we go crazy. Oh yeah, we probably want to get rid of those extra doorways as well. Just from a design standpoint. This little window here is how I discovered that blueprints are... They don't aggressively snap to any grids, put it that way. to me like we have the basic set up. Something's getting processed. Sources are ready to go up to the next level, so I'm up. power. It's going to make connecting the uh, other side a little bit more difficult. And then technically done here. I mean, if I really want it to be have it look nice, take this conveyor out, I could take this belt out. I'm probably not going to want more than 15. I mean, that's 480 black powder per minute. That's not an infinite amount, but that's a pretty good amount. Yeah, it might be time to upgrade the belts here. Try to get us a little bit more sulfur and coal into this new system. How did I connect this output? Yeah, everything from above connects one level below. A little bit ridiculous. But that's kind of the original design, so I'll probably stick with it.
We're cranking out black powder. kind of like this design. But we're not here for design. We're here to get some black powder. Let's build our transport home port. I like having the edge just over the edge. Right there. I should use a conveyor wall. Oh, that's never going to make. Every time I delete that, I get a little bit more black powder in my... for a nice 90 where I can get it. Oh, this isn't going to take on material until it has power. While we're here, we're not going to activate it quite yet. We're going to put drone in place. Wherever we decide to make use of the black powder, we'll deliver the batteries for all the other drones that'll be around that area.
I wonder, do I have enough? Yeah, maybe. Since this is kind of like a service layer enclosure, build it with a contrasting material. go back up to the tippy top here what were we thinking when we put this up um probably wall this off put a nice little cap on it Change that material to a wall. If I uh, switch to jetpack. There we go. It's possible that I just, I'm not pulling enough resources. Yeah, suddenly we went from occasional pauses to fully wide open. Which actually means that we might be endangering a chunk of our power grid. Luckily, we have storage, because you know, we got three containers full of compacted coal. We got plenty of time to solve this. Yeah, and then even here, we're still using and shipping. Okay, so the compact coal is not the problem. The problem is that we are just not living up to our full potential of the 480. So let's do some backtrack upgrades. Starting with the coal. Aha! We can upgrade here. Six hundred. 
our normal belt speed. That leaves us with 180. Well, if we really wanted it, we could add now that belt. It's fully fully utilized. Any extra will get dumped off into the split into the sink. What have I done here? Black powder. I built 15 of these, so the requirement is 15 times 15. Yeah, it's only 225. These top ones should start to just start to flow here. If I really wanted it, I could. I could throw a drone port on this and ship out compacted coal. Let's backpack, backpack, let's backtrack on our, our sulfur. I think we're already basically ready. If I remember correctly, we even have three power shards sitting in there. I guess we might as well go ahead and upgrade our shipper too. Probably overdid it there. Let's stop doing it. We'll wait until we have a problem with our compacted coal or our steel production before we go any further in that particular upgrade. Have I not built a power line here so I can fly over? However much we're sending. Ah, uh, see, this is a Mark IV belt. We should upgrade this. trying to do a little something with sulfur in this direction potentially but at this point obviously we just stored it and then didn't do anything else now i think we're going to store a little bit more so we can test the impact Oh, there is no overflow, so there is no impact. Ooh, this is already maxed out. Okay, well, that's fine for what we've done, but it does mean that we can't really make use of anything else because this is flowing nonstop. Oh man, I thought I had my jetpack on. Hold on. We're going to have to try that again.
a three-pointer if I ever saw one. But we've got storage downstairs. I don't think we need more. I think we're good. The amount of detail on these is kind of crazy. Well, that might be it. We're ready to ship this wonderful black powder out for making use of our current well-documented coal and sulfur. And just by thinking about like, hey, we already have a nice coal and sulfur combination, we're able to quickly make use of that same infrastructure. Right? We didn't have to rebuild all this infrastructure. Now, if it turns out that we're actually overtaxing that infrastructure, that'll be a different conversation that we're gonna have to have. But for now, this is perfect. We've got what we need. We have the ability to ship it out using drones and I think we're done. We had a long video on Monday, we, or on Sunday, it was over two hours, building our battery plant and getting the drone logistics built. See the drones flying around right there. Going out to pick up some aluminum ingots. Then we took a day off on Monday, and now we're gonna come back with this Short but sweet black powder construction and alteration. Another advantage of using compacted coal is it does set you up later in the game, much later, for black powder production. I can reach the third corner. Much easier to build from half a mile away, something. I think it's less about height and more about distance. That little belt gonna show this. Now let's switch to hover. We'll make the jump. above the clouds type scenario as well. All right. I'm having an idea about what I can do at the top of that building, but it's purely aesthetic and has absolutely no functional purpose. Well, that'll be fun, but that's definitely, well, that's definitely a topic for a future video. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.